Now let's see this example. Design a Turing machine for subtraction un unary notation. So unary notation means we may use either zeros or ones. Various binary notation means it is a combination of zeros and ones. Okay. So unary, unary notation means it is our choice. We can use either zeros or ones. Uh, so let us assume that we have two numbers. Uh, let the number is four. So four is represented by four ones or four is represented by four zeros. So that we have two. So two is represented by two ones or two zeros. It is our choice. So for our convenience purpose, let us use ones instead of zeros. We can use zeros also, there is no problem. So first let's see what is the formula here. Let the first number is m, second number is n, then f of m comma n is equal to m minus n. If m is greater than n. So if m is greater than n, then subtraction means m minus n. Whereas if m is less than or equal to n, then the result is 0. So this is the formula. If m is greater than n, then the result is m minus n. If, uh, uh, if m is less than or equals to n, then the result is 0. Let us take an example. Let m is equal to 4, n is equal to 2. Uh, so m means 4, so it is represented by 4 ones. n means 2, it is represented by 2 ones. So 4 ones minus 2 ones means the result is 4 minus 2 means the result is 2. So we have, uh, so the output is 2 ones. Okay. Let m is equal to 2, n is equal to 4. Here m is less than or equal to n. So what is the result? m minus result is 0. So we have to produce 0 as the result. So now let us solve the, now let us design the Turing machine. So parallelly we will see with the help of an example. Uh, let us see the Turing machine. Uh, let the initial state is q0. Let the initial state is q0. So let m is equal to 4 n is equal to 2. Uh, then the input tape is like this. Input tape contains input string. So m contains 4 ones. So 4 ones. Whereas n contains 2 ones. n contains 2 ones. Before and after the string, we can have n number of uh, symbols. So between the m and the n, between the two numbers, we have to use a separator. It may be either minus or we can use 1 or we can use 0 also. Already we use this 1, so let us use 0. So 0 is the separator between the two numbers, okay. So let us see the Turing machine parallel, we will see the logic also. So initially the read write head is at 1. So if we read 1 on Q0, then replace that 1 by blank symbol and move the head towards the right till we get the blank symbol, okay. So here 1. So if you read 1 and q naught, then this one is replaced by the blank symbol. So this is the string. So this is the blank symbol. So this is nothing but blank symbol. So let us write a little bit. Uh, uh, little. So this one is replaced by b. So let us write a little bit uh, downside. So 4 ones, 4 ones, next to 2 ones, zeros. Okay. So this one is replaced by b. And then we have to move the uh, read right head towards the right. Okay. B stands for the blank symbol. Okay. Next, let me are at uh, Q1 state. If we apply 1 or zeros on Q1, then don't change them, but move the head towards the right. So if we apply 0 on Q1, don't change 0, but move the head towards the right. If we apply 1 on Q1, don't change 1, but move the head towards the right. So 1. So move the head towards the right, 1, move, 1, move, 0, move, 1, move, 1, move, next, move. So now we are at the blank symbol, end of the string. So if you read a blank symbol on Q1, then don't change the blank symbol, keep it as same only, but move the head towards the left. So now we are at, at this position, so Q2. So here what is the leftmost symbol? 1. What is the rightmost symbol? 1. So we have, this one is for this one. So we have to cancel this one. So we have to replace this one by the blank symbol. Okay. We have to replace this one by the blank symbol. Okay. So if you read uh, 1 on Q2, then replace it by the blank symbol. But move the head towards the left. But move the head 
towards the left till we get the uh, blank symbol okay uh, like the next state is q3 so on q3 if uh, we may have we may apply either zeros or ones so if we apply zero on q3 don't change zero but move the head towards the left if we apply one on q3 don't change one but move the head towards the left so here we have one don't change one but move the head towards the left uh, yeah sorry this one is uh, replaced by the blank symbol so this one is replaced by the blank symbol uh, next uh, don't change ones and zeros but move the head towards the left so now we are at the blank symbol so if we if we, if we get the blank symbol it specifies that one iteration is over one symbol is read successfully so now we have to read the next symbol so for that purpose we have to go to the starting state initial state so if we read blank symbol on q3 then don't change the blank symbol but move the head towards the right so don't change this symbol but move the head towards the right okay so now we are at q0 state so we read one on the q0 so this one is replaced by the blank symbol move the head towards the right so now we are at q1 so 1101 means don't change change them but move the head towards the right so now we are at this blank symbol and we are at q1 state so if we read blank symbol on the q1 state then don't change the blank symbol but move the head towards the left okay the second symbol from the left is one as well as the second symbol from the right is one so what we have to do now we have to replace this one by the blank symbol and move the head towards the left move the head towards the left so now we are at q3 so if we apply zeros and ones on q3 then what will happen don't change them but move the head towards the left till we get the blank symbol so now we are at this blank symbol so if we read blank symbol on the q3 then we are, then we will go to the uh, starting state so don't ch change the blank symbol but move the head towards the right but move the head towards the right so now we are at the third symbol so if we read one on the q0 then we have to replace this one by the blank symbol and move the head towards the right and move the head towards the right next one don't change one but move the head towards the right zero don't change zero but move the head towards the right so now we are at this blank symbol so if you need blank symbol on q1 then what we have it uh, keep the blank symbol as it is only but move the head towards the left so now we are at this zero now we are at this zero so this zero specifies that the second number is over what is the second number second number contains two ones n is equal to 2 that is the second number so the second number is over so we have to replace this zero by one why because here the subtraction of m and n is 4 minus 2 4 minus 2 means 2 so here we are using ones representation so the result is two ones but here we have only one one only so that's why if we read zero on q2 if we read zero on q2 then replace the zero by one and move the head towards the left so now we uh, now we will go to the next state that the next state is q4 okay so replace the zero by the one but move the head towards the left okay so now we got the state q4 uh, here there is no need to represent q4 as the final state why because here our target is producing the outputs okay so here q2 to q4 means the output is one so now the input tape contains two ones so we can say that the subtraction of 4 minus 2 is 2 why because we got output as two ones okay so this is the first example if m is greater than n now let us see the second example if m is less than n same diagram but we need to uh, do some modifications so let m is equal to uh, 2 n is equal to 4 then what is the output the subtraction is zeros the subtraction is zero the subtraction between m and n is zero so zero means we have to produce all the symbols as blank symbols only so all the symbols are blank symbols means zero only okay so here m means two ones n means four ones four ones so between m and n we have zero so first so this one is translated to b next we have to uh, we have to move till we get the blank symbol here we will have the blank symbol next this one will be translated to blank symbol next we have to move the head towards the left so this one is replaced by the blank symbol next we have to Uh, move the head towards the right till we get the blank symbol so this one is replaced by the blank symbol so uh, and after that we have to move the head towards the left till we get the blank symbol so that is q not state so if we read blank symbol on q3 then what we have a blank blank that means don't change blank symbol but move the head towards the 
right so now we are at this position so it specifies that m is over m contains only two words m is over so when m is over then what we have to do is so now we are at q not state if we read zero on q not then replace the zero by the blank symbol and move the head towards the right why because here the result is zero zero means all the blank symbols so replace this zero by the blank symbol but move the head towards the right so that the next state is q4 is over next state is q5 so here we may have n number of ones why because here n is equal to 4 so that's why we have only two ones suppose if n is equal to 10 and n is equal to 2 then here we have eight ones so that means we have to use the self transition on q5 so if it is one then replace it by the blank symbol and move the head towards the right okay so here we have one so this one is replaced by the blank symbol and move the head towards the right so now we are q5 only so replace this blank symbol by the replace this one by the blank symbol and move the head towards the right so now what wh what happened all the symbols are translated into blank symbols that means uh, uh, that uh, the turing machine is over so if we read uh, a blank symbol of the q5 now we are at this state if you need blank symbol then don't change the blank symbol but move the head either left or right okay so this is for when m is less than n whereas this is for when m is greater than n okay so this uh, turing machine demonstrates both the situations when m greater than 0 and m less than 0 